Hi volunteers, welcome to Client Liaison Module 2. My name is Karen Sarna and I'm going to be walking through the intake process at the tax center sites with you. So your first role as a client liaison is to greet our tax center clients as they arrive at our tax center sites. Once you've greeted the client, then you direct them to our sign-in sheet. At your site, you'll have clipboards that have plenty of sign-in sheets on them. We ask our clients to sign in in the order that they arrived at the site. Once your client has signed in, you're going to ask them to complete some intake paperwork. Also at your site, you're going to have a supply of clipboards. You're going to have English versions and Spanish versions. The cover sheet of the intake paperwork is an eligibility screening tool. And so you ask your client to just briefly read over this to make sure that they qualify for our services. Once they've read over this, you instruct the client to complete pages one and two of the intake questionnaire. Now this is a really important piece. If you read closely the intake questionnaire, it instructs the client to complete pages one, two, and three. But here at the tax centers, we only want our clients to complete pages one and two. Page three gets a little confusing, and we like to have our volunteer tax preparer complete page three with the client when they're back at tax preparation. So you ask the client to return to the waiting room and complete pages one and two of the intake questionnaire and let them know that they can hold on to their clipboard when they're done and that the next available client liaison will call them up when they're ready to look at all their intake paperwork. So once you're ready to work with a client, you look at the uh, sign-in sheet and you call clients up in the order in which they signed in. So you call your client up to the intake desk and the first thing you do is ask the client to start getting out all of their tax documents. So you might need to ask a few questions to prompt them to dig things out of their, their bag or their folder or whatever all of their tax documents are in. Or you might say, make sure you, you, you bring out all the W-2s for all the jobs that you had last year. Did you have any childcare expenses? Do you have any receipts for maybe self-employment? Once they've got all their tax documents, what you want to do very quickly is just add up their income and just verify that they meet our income eligibility guidelines. Once you've done that, then what you're going to want to do is ask them for their photo identification for the taxpayer and the spouse on the return, as well as social security cards or I-10 letters for everybody who's going to be listed on their return. The ID documents and the Social Security cards and the I-10 letters, you're actually going to make a photocopy of those documents. So at the intake desk, there's going to be a photocopier. What we ask you to do is try to conserve paper. So put as many of the IDs and Social Security cards and I-10 letters on one copy as you can. Once you've made a copy, you can give those original documents back to the taxpayer and tell them to put them away because they're not going to need them the rest of the tax preparation proper, the rest of the tax preparation process. And we want to make sure that the client leaves the site with those very important documents. So then you start organizing all of the tax documents that they've um, provided and you're going to review page one and two of the intake sheet to make sure that the client has answered every question that's on there. Now sometimes you'll notice clients will skip questions. It might be because they're going too fast. It might be because they don't understand a question. But your job as the client liaison is to fill in the blank. So ask them if they skipped over the question, did you have any childcare expenses, for example? Ask them that and then answer it for them on the intake questionnaire. Now, we work with all kinds of clients. Sometimes it happens that a client will come up to the intake desk and their intake form will barely be filled, filled out. If that's the case, don't send the client back to the waiting room and say, hey, you've got to fill this out before I can help you. Keep in mind that some of our clients have literacy issues. 
Some may not have brought their glasses today and so are having a hard time reading that fine print. So if somebody brings you an intake form that's not completely filled out, your job is to help them fill it out. What we want you to do is pay particular attention to the client's responses on page two. So if you've got a copy of the intake questionnaire in front of you right now, if you look really carefully, next to each one of the questions, there is a letter A, B, M, the letters HSA and COD. They're all in parentheses before the question. These are the letters that we use to determine the level of certification that the tax preparer needs to have in order to complete this return. So A means it's an advanced topic and needs an advanced preparer. B means that it's a basic return and a basic certified preparer can work on that return. M means that the return has to be prepared by somebody who has military certification. HSA, that means the tax preparer needs to have certification in health savings accounts. And then COD is cancellation of debt, so that also requires a special certification. So you're going to scan all the responses on page two. And hey, best case scenario, somebody's got all Bs, it's a basic return, great, it's a basic return. If even one question is answered as an A, that means it's going to require an advanced preparer. Same thing with military, COD, and HSA. As a client liaison, it's your responsibility to determine the level of return you have in front of you. So now let's jump to our processing envelope. Our processing envelope, you're going to actually complete the top section of it. So let's take a look. Here we've got our processing envelope. We use this envelope to track the tax return from intake through tax prep, quality review, and ultimately transmitting the return to the IRS. You, as a client liaison, are going to complete everything that's in the red box. Note that you are not going to fill in the social security number of the client. The reason that we don't want you to fill in the social security number of the client on the processing envelope at this time is for security reasons. The processing envelopes we use to put in queue so that the, the client um, is ready for the next available tax preparer. Because we use these envelopes in a queue, they're very visible to anybody in the waiting room or anybody who walks into our site. So we want to protect the identity of our clients as much as we can. So at the intake process, we do not put the social security number or the ITIN number on the processing envelope. Everything else in that top section, you as the client liaison is going to fill out. Let's start um, on the right side of the envelope. On the upper right hand corner, you've got the site. There is where you put, like if you're working at Highland Mall, HM for Highland Mall, so we know where that return originated. Put today's date, um, if the client has an appointment or they would like to use our drop-off program, there's a checkbox up there in the top for you to indicate that. Um, over in the bottom right of the, the red box here, you've got a, a place where you can write any notes that you think would be helpful for the tax preparer. So maybe it's a client who um, is deaf or hard of hearing and needs an ASL interpreter or is a Spanish speaker and would prefer to work with a Spanish speaking preparer, you can write that note in that section. Um, you're going to list what tax year um, the client needs prepared. So the majority of returns that you're going to see are going to be for the last tax year. But remember, we also prepare prior year returns. So later in the season, you'll begin seeing 2013, 2014, 2012 returns come through. Um, here is where you determine or you indicate whether the return is basic or advanced by circling one of those. And then, of course, any other certifications that the return requires. Um, we want you to write your volunteer client liaison ID in this uh, line here. 
And that is so at the end of the season, we can report back to you how many clients you met with. Um, we've got room for the taxpayer first, middle initial, and last name, so go ahead and fill that out. We also have a box to indicate whether or not the client is applying today for an I-10 number. And then finally, this little line that's up in the top left-hand corner, that's where we indicate the line number where the client signed in on the sign-in sheet. So you've gone ahead and completed the processing envelope. The other thing that you're going to do is prepare a client envelope. So the client envelope is uh, an envelope that stays with the client from the intake process all the way to the end and then they leave the site with the client envelope. The client envelope has important information on it like how to contact the IRS to see the status of their refund, our contact information in case the client has any questions about their return. It's also what we use to put all of the client's tax documents in. So remember at the beginning of the process, you collected all those tax documents and you collected the intake sheet, made sure everything was answered correctly. Go ahead and put all those tax documents in the intake sheet, include the copies of the IDs and the social security cards and the I-10 letters and put them in the client envelope, okay? So that's really important that you put it in the client envelope and then you give the client envelope to the client. The client envelope always, always, always stays with the client. We never keep it. So at this point, you've got two envelopes that you've worked on. You've got the processing envelope that you filled out the top and then you have the client envelope. Remember, the client envelope has all of the client's tax documents in it. The processing envelope at this point is completely empty. The reason that we do that is we want all the documents to always stay with the client because what if the client gets up and leaves our tax center site? What if they need to go pick up their kid from school and they just can't wait any longer to get their taxes prepared? We don't want to hold on to any of their information. We want to make sure that the client maintains or retains all of their information the whole way through the tax preparation process. So once you've got the processing envelope filled out, the processing envelope goes into queue. And it goes into queue in the order in which the client signed in on the sign-in sheet. That is why on that upper left-hand corner of the processing envelope, we've had you mark a number. So we go in the queue, client one is at the front, next client two, next client three, next client four. With multiple client liaisons working, sometimes even though a client signed in on the sign-in sheet as number four, their intake process might be really super quick because they've got everything together. Their process might be finished before client three's intake process is finished. But our policy is that we serve clients in the order in which they signed in. So even though the client who signed in is number four, their intake process is completed first. Client three, once their intake process is completed, they go in the queue in numerical order. The only time that we jump queue is when somebody has an appointment. So the way that we handle appointments is as long as clients show up within 15 minutes of their scheduled appointment time, we will bump them to the front of the line. So their envelope will go automatically to the front of the queue regardless of the uh, number that they signed in on the sign-in sheet. So that's how we handle appointments. So there you have it. That's our intake process at the tax centers in a nutshell. If it feels overwhelming or like there's a lot of information, you know, we learn by doing. Once you get to our tax center site, you're gonna pick it up really quickly. And what I want you to remember is that at our intake desk, there's always a staff person who's available 
who's there to train you and guide you to make sure you get the intake process down pat. So there you have it. We've finished module two. Thank you so much.